This is the math lesson for Monday, May 4th, 2020. Boys and girls, we will be looking at pages 317 and 318. Make sure you have that out and in front of you. Also, it would be great if you could get out a whiteboard and a marker. Okay, we will be using those as well. Now, before we begin, I would like to review a couple of things with you. And I know you're saying, Ms. Dupree, why do we review so much? Well, guess what? Reviewing helps it to stick in your brain. It helps you to remember it. It is so important that we review. Okay, so what I would like to review is how many days are in a week? I knew you knew it. Yes, seven days in a week. Let's go over those together, okay? And you know I don't like to sing alone, so please do this with me. Here we go. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Very nice. Now, if today is Monday, what was yesterday? You got it. Sunday, the first day of the week. If yesterday was Sunday, today is Monday, what is tomorrow? That's it. Tuesday. Now, how many hours are in a day? I'm going to pull out my clock to help you remember that. Now, you'll have to excuse my clock. It is not, it is broken, but it's all I have at home right now. Remember that word resourceful? I'm having to use what resources I have. Now, remember that our hand is the shorthand. I have 12 numbers on my clock. My hour hand goes around twice in a day. Twice in a day. How many hours or in a day yes 24 hours in a day very good now my minute hand or my long hand as it goes around we count by what yes we count by fives okay now how many minutes or in an hour let's count by five five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty 30 minutes is half an hour. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. 60 minutes in an hour. And we just talked about it. If there are 60 minutes in an hour, how many minutes are in half an hour? Remember, halfway around the clock. 30 minutes in half an hour. We're gonna look at that today. You'll see why I wanted to review that in just a few minutes. But first, Let's get started. Okay, we are just going to review a couple of problems that are on your worksheet, okay? Most of this, as I said, is a review for you, okay? But I just want to refresh your memory. We're going to start with page 317. Go ahead and make sure you have 317 out in front of you. Okay, we're going to work, we're going to look at number one. We're going to work just one of those problems to help you remember what you should do. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to look at your coin, okay? You're adding money, you're adding coins. You're going to look at your coin and you're going to remember the value of your coin. Okay, let's look at this first one. Let's remember this coin. This is the biggest coin that we discussed, okay? This is the half dollar, all right? And the half dollar is worth how many cents? Try to remember, it's half of a dollar, it's worth 50, Okay, so go ahead and fill that in in your box. All right, now the next coin in this equation is the dime. All right, remember the torch on the back of the dime? What is the value of the dime? 10 cents, yes, okay. But you have three of these, which means you're going to count by tens three times. Let's add that together. 10, 20, 30 cents. Very good. Now, are you done? Are you done with your problem? No, you are not. You filled in the amounts. Now you need to add those together, okay? Remember when you're adding two digit numbers, you start in the ones place. So zero plus zero equals, that's it, zero. Okay, very good. Now let's look at the tens place. Five plus three equals eight. Very nice. 50 cents plus 30 cents equals 80 cents. Great job. Now, as you finish working all of those problems with number one, ask yourself which coin you're looking at and remember the value, okay? Now, 
Now we're looking at number two on page two, I'm sorry, page 317. All right, number two says fill in the box with the correct answer. We're gonna look at just one of those problems today because I know you're not gonna have any problems with this, okay? The first one says there are blank tens in 206. How many tens are in the number 206? Boys and girls, look in the tens place, okay? There are zero tens in 206. Okay, as you do those problems, ask yourself, what place am I looking at? Am I looking at the ones place, the hundreds place? And you'll fill that box in accordingly. Okay, now number three says, what is the temperature? You know that, remember what those small lines mean. You're counting by how many degrees when you see those lines? Two degrees each, you're going to skip count by two. Very nice, now let's look at the back of the page. That's where we need to concentrate today. Page 318, okay, number one on 318 says write the sums. Boys and girls, you're adding three digit numbers again, okay? This means you're adding numbers with a number in the ones place, the tens place, and the hundreds place. Now there's something different about today's problem. Today, you're going to be carrying from the tens column to the hundreds column. Now you've done this before, you've carried to the column before. You've never, never carried to the hundreds column, but it's the same process, okay? You are not going to have any problems. This is going to be easy peasy for you. Let's look at the first problem. 183 plus 245. When we're adding three-digit numbers, which place do we start? We always start with the ones place, just like with adding two-digit numbers. Now, let's look at that together. Okay, now if you'd like to, you uh, can just work it on your worksheet or if you want to write it on your whiteboard and work it with me, that's great too. Go ahead and you can write your problem. 183 plus 245. Very important though is that you line your, your columns up. It's very important that you put the ones in the ones place, the tens in the tens place, the hundreds in the hundreds place, or it will cause you to get an incorrect answer. All right, if you need to pause the video and write that on your whiteboard, you may do that, or you could simply work it on your worksheet with me. Here we go. Three plus five equals, you got it. Oh, and my marker is not cooperating. Let me grab one quickly. Okay, we're gonna work in green today. Three plus five equals eight. Very nice. Where are we going next? We're going to the tens place. Eight plus four, oh, this is where those, practicing those addition and subtraction facts is very important. Eight plus four equals 12. Now watch this. Boys and girls, can I write 12 in the tens place? No, I cannot put two digits in that tens place. Only one digit can go in the tens place. So for the number 12, I'm going to write two. I'm going to carry this to the hundreds column. Okay, I'm carrying to the hundreds column. Now, let's add these numbers. One plus one is two. Two plus two is four. Very nice, let's look at that. 183 plus 245 equals 428. Great job. Now, we're gonna do a couple more together, okay? This is one of those things that practice, practice, practice is important, all right? Let's look at the second problem on your worksheet. That problem is 251 plus 183. Now, you may write this on your whiteboard. Once again, make sure you line your columns, your, your place values up. Make sure you put the one on top of the three. Okay, put the tens in the tens column. The hundreds in the hundreds column. Let's work that together. Now, which place are we starting with? We're starting with the ones place, very nice. One plus three is, yes, four. Now, let's look at the next one. Five plus eight. Practicing those addition and subtraction facts is so important here. Five plus eight equals 
equals 13. I cannot write, I cannot write the number 13 in my tens place. I'm going to put three and carry the one. Okay, one plus two equals three. Three plus one equals four. Very nice, 251 plus 183 equals 434. Now, I want you to write the third problem on your whiteboard. I want you to write 472 plus 356. Line up your places, okay? You can pause it if you need to. Now, I'm going to have you work that on your own. I want you to pause the video. Remember which place you're starting with. Make sure you carry to the hundreds column. All right, go ahead and pause it, and then we're gonna check it together. Here we go. Two plus six equals eight. Seven plus five equals 12. Very nice. I'm going to write the two, carry my one. One plus four is five. Five plus three is eight. 472 plus 356 is 828. How did you do? Did you get the same answer? If you did, pat yourself on the back. If not, don't worry, don't fret, okay? We're gonna continue working this together. This is one of those things you work over and over and it gets easier and easier, okay? Now I'm going to save the last problem on that worksheet for you to do at home, all right? Remember the steps as you do it. Remember to start with your ones place. Okay, remember you cannot write two digits in a place and you have to carry, all right? You've got this. Now, let's look at number two on page 318. Number two says write the sums for the doubles. Okay, boys and girls, this is just like using our dot cards, okay? We have dot cards, remember, all right? And we have doubles on our dot cards and we added one side to the other, all right? If you want to, you can go ahead and draw your own dot cards to help you add the doubles, all right? So let's look at the first one, okay? The first one on number two. Six plus six equals, well, many of you may already know that, but if you don't, if you don't know that addition fact, draw your own dot card. Look at this. You could draw six dots on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Draw six. Use pictures to help you, okay? Simply add the dots. We know there's six here. So we're gonna start with seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Six plus six is 12, okay? Let's look at the next one, eight plus eight. Now some of you may have that memorized. If you do, great, go ahead and fill in the answer. If you don't, draw a picture, draw a dot card. You're gonna draw eight, eight, on each side, all right? I'm gonna draw it like this. Eight plus eight. And I know there's eight here, so I'm gonna start at nine. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Eight plus eight equals 16, okay? Once again, practicing your addition facts and your subtraction facts at home will help you to do this quickly, okay? If you already know these, you can just fill in the answer. If not, draw a picture to help represent the equation, okay? Now, finally, let's look at number three on page 318. This is a thinking cap question, okay? I want you to read along with me as I read it to you, okay? I know you have it on your worksheet, but I'm gonna place it here. We're gonna read it together, okay? Tanya and Tina have a swimming lesson at 3.30. It takes 30 minutes to get to the pool. Set the clock to show the time they should leave. Okay, let's look at that, okay? Their lesson is at 3.30, all right? That says that right there. Lesson is at 3.30, so let's set our clock for 3.30, all right? If you wanna pause the video and get out your clock to do this, please do so, or you can watch me do it, okay? So let's remember 
If it's 3.30, my shorthand will be pointing to the hour. It will be pointing to 3. And if the minutes, if it's 3.30, I have 30 minutes. Let's count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Boys and girls, remember the remember this hour hand will be pointing halfway between three and four. Now my clock is not working right now, so I had to do that differently, okay? But as the minute hand moves, remember the hour hand normally moves. So if it's 3.30, it's half past three. My hour hand is half past three. Now, the lesson starts at 3.30, but they need to leave they need to leave 30 minutes. Would they leave 30 minutes earlier or 30 minutes later to make it on time? They need to leave earlier. Okay, if it takes 30 minutes, if it takes 30 minutes to get to the pool, they need to leave earlier. So we're going to count backwards. Okay, we want them to leave 30 minutes earlier. So, once again, when we're counting minutes, we're going to count by fives, but this time we're going counterclockwise, okay? We're going backwards. Here we go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. What time is it? 3 o'clock. Very good. Yes. If they need to be at their lesson by 3.30 and it takes 30 minutes to get there, they need to leave by 3 o'clock, okay? Go ahead and fill that in on your worksheet. You're going to draw the hands in on the clock. Remember, the short hand points to the hour, the long hand points to the minute. Okay, very nice. Now, let's look at the second part of that second part of that equation and then we'll finish up. I thank you for sticking with me. I know this has been a longer lesson. Now let's look quickly, okay? The twin swimming lesson takes an hour and a half. What time would they finish if they started practice on time? Okay, let's look at that. It takes one and a half hours. So if what time do they start their lesson? 3.30, that's correct, 3.30, half past three. Okay, if it takes an hour and a half, what time will they finish? Let's look at that. If it's 3.30, what is an hour from 3.30? Well, an hour is 60 minutes, we've already talked about that, so let's go around the clock 60 minutes, okay? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. That's an hour, okay? So an hour from 3.30 would be what time? 4.30, yes. You see how my hour hand's half past four? That's an hour. How long does the lesson take? An hour and a half. So we still have half an hour to go. Boys and girls, we reviewed earlier. Oh, and I didn't fill this in. Let's do this quickly. We talked about one hour equals 60 minutes. If one hour equals 60 minutes, half an hour equals 30 minutes. We talked about that earlier. Okay, so we still have half an hour to go. It's 4.30. We have 30 more minutes to go. Let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. What time is it? Five o'clock. Very good. Great job. If they started practice at 3.30, it lasts an hour and a half, they would finish at five o'clock. Go ahead and fill that in on your box. Okay, great work today. I sure do enjoy working with you, okay? Now you're going to finish the rest of your worksheet on your own. Take your time, remember the things we've discussed, okay? And I'll see you again for our next math lesson.